Welcome everyone, this is Bobby Techno from Bobby's Tech World and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Nexus 7 2013 KitKat to the new Android 5.0 Lollipop. So let's get started. Okay, so what I have here is um, I'm running the Android Ice Cold project. Okay, Android version 4.4.4. .4. This is a custom operating system that I have on my Nexus tablet here which I absolutely love and I'm running it all the time as a daily driver now I want to upgrade to lollipop but I just don't want to put the you know the the uh, standard image on there and then use other programs to root it and then put other stuff on there so on XDA I found a post by a gentleman named uh, Scrolsler if I got that wrong please forgive me but shout out to him for having this what this is, is this is a Lollipop Pure Android 5.0 with, it's 100% stock, with uh, BusyBox, it's rooted, um, there's no edits, it's just a perfect clean install. There's just a few things you need to do, and then we're up and running in no time. What I like about this is that if you have uh, some files saved, like in your um, SD card or you know internal, when you put this on here, all you have to basically do is just wipe, you know, do like a factory reset and wipe your system and then flash this. But before we get there, what you're going to need to do is where it says download here, you're going to need to download that, put that on your SD card, okay, on your internal. Then this bootloader 4.0.4.zip, put that on your computer and unzip it because it contains a file which you're going to need to flash on here to upgrade your bootloader. You have to have the bootloader upgraded or else you're not going to get um, this uh, lollipop flash correctly. Now that you have that uh, zip file downloaded on here, your, your image for um, lollipop, and then you've also downloaded the uh, bootloader uh, zip file on your computer, what you want to do now at this point is I went ahead and upgraded my busy box you know made sure everything was installed correctly uh, put it all on here like I should and things are running great so we're gonna start with that what you need on here also is the upgraded custom recovery uh, by twerp here um, version 2.8.1.0 so if you don't have that already on here you need to put it on here and before you do that you also need to make sure that you have, of course, this is basically for those who have, you know, custom Nexus 7s. If you've got um, custom ROM, if you just have it rooted, but also with the custom recovery install, if you don't have those things, you need to unlock your bootloader. You need to have a custom recovery installed and have it rooted. So at this point here, your device name, you just click on that and scroll down till you find your device. The recovery that's installed, I have Torp 2.8.1.0. If you don't have that, you just go over here to your recovery version, find it, and install it. Because you need that on there. I don't want it. We'll exit now. Now that you have that done, what we're going to do is uh, go into our, we're going to reboot to our bootloader. Yes. Now we are at the bootloader, uh, or fast boot mode, pretty much. Um, over here, your bootloader version, mine says flow 04.04. .04. That's where you need to go. Yours were probably going to say like, you know, 04.02, possibly, or 03. I can't remember, but um, when you're in this mode, you go ahead and plug up your USB cable to your computer, and that zip file that you uh, ran for the, the bootloader zip file, once you unzip it, you're going to see a bunch of cool stuff inside of it. If you've gotten to this part where you've unlocked your bootloader and rooted your tablet, you know how to make sure your drivers are installed and all that other good stuff. So when you unzip that file on your computer, you'll see um, a batch file, BAT, called uh, Update Bootloader. So what you want to do is click on that from here, and it'll run its, its course. Then you're going to get a bootloader version like I have right here. So at this point, you want to 
Go to recovery mode, just hit volume down, and then hit start. All right, here we are at the uh, custom recovery, Team Win Recovery Project. There's my version, 2.8.1.0. That's where you need to be. You need to be on that. Now, um, once again, um, what I'm going to add down below is some links to the Play Store for that uh, twerp manager. Um, if you need a BusyBox, the twerp manager is going to ask you about BusyBox anyway, so you want to go ahead and install those things and make sure they're running correctly. But at this point, we're about to wipe our system but before we do we want to make sure if I hit install that my stock root this is the zip file from the forum that I had downloaded make sure it's downloaded and make sure the MD5's match alright so let's back out of that we're gonna wipe alright I'm gonna go do advanced wipe and then I'm gonna wipe that the system the data in the cache. I'm not going to touch my internal storage. I'm just going to leave that alone. So, what I'm going to do ahead, go ahead. What I'm going to do is go ahead and swipe it. All right, wipe is complete. So I'm going to hit back. I'm going to hit back again. Now I'm going to go to install. All right. If anything goes wrong with this, um, hopefully you'll have some sort of a backup, an Android backup. It's okay. If you don't, we'll just work from here. But um, this is the zip file. It'll include all your apps and everything that Android, the everything that they wanted to give you in Lollipop that everyone else has been craving over, getting the OTAs over and all that other good stuff. So I'm going to go to zip file. I'm go ahead and flash it. Okay, what you saw before, um, I had to pull it away and restart the film. In the XDA form, he talks about uh, in Twerp, there's a, a button called Mounts or Mount. And when you click on Mount, their system is checked or X'd. What you might need to do is uncheck that. So then you can flash the zip logs. If not, you're going to get an error executing update or binary. All right, because when I first saw that, what you just seen a second ago, um, kind of got me going but I unchecked it and rechecked it because I wanted to show you it failing again but uh, at this point it went through so everything was successful if you get that don't freak out just go back to the home screen there and go to mountain uncheck system and try again so at this point everything went through I'm gonna go ahead and hit reboot from here it could take up to five seven they said as long as maybe even ten minutes to get this going so just be patient. I'll be back with you as soon as this is done. Just took a second for this to load up. You can kind of get an idea of what the boot animation here is going to look like. But this is what I was talking about. These guys should be spinning around for quite a bit. Um, once again, like I said a second ago, I'll be back with you as soon as this is done. And for here, it only took about five minutes. But for you, it might take a little longer. Who knows? So what I'm going to do is go ahead and go through the introduction stuff as before as we've seen on other um, um, ROMs, builds, stuff like that. So I'll be with you as soon as I'm done completing the uh, initial setup. Okay, so here we are. We've got it up and running. I've got all my apps. got a bunch of apps coming down. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put everything on here that I had previously. Um, data, you should have had that probably backed up, you know, let's say a titanium backup or something like that, and we'll work on that later as far as getting all the information reloaded back to our app. So, let's see here. It's my very first time ever looking at this, so just bear with me. But um, what we want to do is go into settings and about tablet and there we go Android version 5.0 there's our build number and everything is just perfect so we're gonna go and see this super suit is installed would you look at that I already follow them 
So no apps configured, that's okay. But we have that and we should have... Well, once BusyBox fully installs, but it should already be uh, baked into this. So that's about it on this. I'm going to let all my stuff download and refresh. Um, what we're going to do is try a quick, uh, make sure that we have root access, but I'm going to have to wait till my file explorer downloads. And once it downloads, we'll just quickly do that. Okay, I couldn't wait. So I went ahead and installed Root Checker. We're going to go ahead and click Open. All right, yeah, I agree with the disclaimer. Okay, now I'm going to click Verify Root. Grant, congratulations, you have root access. So I have root access on here. All I had to do is just flash this image, the, the, the factory image as a zip file on here that was rooted with BusyBox. All you got to do is a couple things, making sure you upgrade your... Um, your team win recovery project and make sure you update your bootloader and then voila. Now the stuff that happened previously in the in the twerp recovery section, it's not a big deal. Um, just go over the original post carefully and of course watch this video as many times as needed. I really appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Please take care and if you have any questions just let me know.